Suzuki may have formed a technological relationship with Toyota, rebranding Toyota's Corolla, touring sports estate, and RV4 models as Swayze and Across, respectively, but the Vitara Full Hybrid is Suzuki's first hybrid vehicle. Suzuki has designed its own setup for the Vitara Full Hybrid, combining a new 1.5-liter petrol engine and a 33-brake horsepower electric motor, powered by a compact 0.84 kWh battery, for a total output of 113 brake horsepower, replacing the automatic version of the Vitara Mild Hybrid. It's coupled to a six-speed automatic manual gearbox, which looks unusual and out of date in 2022, but the electric motor's torque is touted to maintain forward momentum throughout gear changes, while also smoothing them down. The electricity is still weaker than other complete hybrids with a maximum voltage of 140 volts whereas petrol electric compact SUVs like the Toyota Yaris Cross can generate 580 volts. If you rev the engine harder, the naturally aspirated unit sounds a little coarse However, if you take a more relaxed approach and select Eco Mode, the Vitara Full Hybrid's electrification makes it more refined. Below 50 miles per hour on flat ground, it's actually surprising how eager the Vitara's engine is to cut out the car running on electricity for a still short but reasonable distance given the compact battery. The technology's regenerative braking is also a great feature. When it comes to dynamics, though, the Vitara Full Hybrid is sturdy and secure. It's pretty light at 1,275 kilograms, and despite the fact that it seems like an actual SUV from behind the wheel with a raised up driving position, there's not a lot of roll. Like every Vitara, the steering is light and positive and the car feels agile, well-balanced, and robust. The ride is also acceptable. Big bumps are noticeable, but don't shock you, and body control is on the softer side for added comfort. The dash design is simple and utilitarian, but it could use a bit more flair. It's essentially the same as when the fourth generation Vitara was introduced in 2015, which means the visuals and responses on the 7 inch touchscreen infotainment system could be better. LED headlights, keyless entry, a rear camera, the aforementioned touchscreen, with built-in navigation, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, which are better options than the standard interface, 17-inch alloy wheels, climate control, and loads of safety tech are standard.
on all full hybrid VDRAS. It is, nevertheless, functional, with the boxy shape, providing ample rear legroom and headroom, even with a panoramic roof installed. It's also simple to enter and exit. However, even for a tiny SUV, the 289-liter boot is on the small side.